Hi and welcome back to Inspiring Creative Women. My name is Catherine Elizabeth and this is video number five of the seven day video challenge. I just wanted to ask you if there's anything else you really want to learn or know about and we'll put that into the next two videos. Um, okay and today I'm going to be talking for you designers out there just a little bit about creating and how to create your own pieces or just to give you a bit of help and, and tell you what I do and to see if that would actually uh, assist you and help you with your creations. Um, what I do is when I start off I might have ideas in my head which I want to put down so we might sketch those out but really just to get them out onto paper. But really you want to start looking at predictions um, and you want to look at different inspirations so you want to look at predictions to actually see what's happening and what colors are in um, you know if it's going to be like african art or flowers or um, different themes that are happening maybe beach themes really in that year but there's going to be so many different themes that you could pick one and then stick with that and then you could pick say three colors or four colors you want to work with there's going to be loads of colors that are going to be in they could be poppy bright colors or they could be pastel colors so you just go with what you feel is good for you for that season i design twice a year but i really love summer the best because that's when i can just all go crazy and, and make big hats so um, you can decide you know if you want to make two collections a year if you want to do four or if you just want to do your one um, so we get that, so you get your collection. Those are going to be from things like Pinterest you can get them from and um, that's brilliant because otherwise you have to pay a trend company to actually give you the predictions and that can cost you quite a few thousand pounds. But if you're like me, a milliner, you can leave it a little bit later and then things start coming out online. Um, there is also a trends, trend spotter, I think is another website which uh, later on they'll give you a couple of sort of trends and boards that are out there that you could use. Um, but Pinterest now it's out it's just absolutely brilliant um, so you go there and you start and I've just got one here as an example from Pinterest so this was last year and obviously it's all the the bright colors but this is really in isn't it this sort of uh, rainforest look which I love and so I wanted to put that into hats um, and also you've got the softer colors as well but this is just everywhere and everywhere in interior design so that's really good and they have colors at the bottom this is brilliant if you get things like this um, and then, so you want to get that, and then you want to pick something of your own to make your collection different. So you might want to pick architecture. Um, you might think, well, I had a really good holiday in Morocco, so I want to use that. Um, if you go away anywhere, or if you go and see a museum, you know, you go and see a show, you can do some sketches just around that, and then you could add that into your collection. Maybe you want to add in Turkey. I did that one year. Um, so you could add in that into your collection. So I've got a few trends here which I was looking at for last year just to give you an example. So here we've got one here which is sort of slightly Moroccan look. You can tick, pick different elements of that or, or the overall theme you can use on your collection, your piece. But if you have a look closely then there could be different patterns in there that you could actually use to create your shapes. Um, the colours obviously, this is quite wild, I love this headpiece up here. Uh, stripes you know spots were in um, you could use that I'm loving this here lots of feathers so that's quite cool um, same year this one a bit more ethnic but also I like to look at these different patterns that are going on in here because this could influence your work when you put in the design oh and look at this massive piece up here so that's really cool and here a bit more aztec -y. so this is just from Pinterest and, and, and you know Printing these off, really good. And you can see the colours up there as well. So you can see the different colours that are going on. So you could just pick if you want the, your bold, bright colours or your slightly more muted colours. Um, another one here is on, um, see that it's on more interior design. So that's a really good thing to look at as well. So I'm loving this chair. I'm loving all these circles and patterns and stripes and things that are going on here. And loving this as a texture. So also you want to put lots of textures in. Um, and, and think about maybe three that you want to use. Uh, here I've got a great shape. Oops. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Back again. Uh, a great shape here, which I think brilliant for hats. You might not need that for your bag design, but if you're jewellery designer, then that could really work. So you've got the sharp shapes here. You can use feathers, or you could actually maybe cut things out of metal, or um, you know, using wire, or using cinema strips. Uh, using plastics and cut these shapes out so or you could just keep the whole fluid shape so I like things like that so I would mix that in with all my other bits and pieces that I've got here um, look in magazines uh, you don't have to look at the 
and it could be a winter magazine it could be a spring magazine um, but if you're designing at that time just look in a few because this one here I'm not sure Giorgio Armani here I'm loving these stripes that we've got on here and the way the fabric is cut to release the green underneath um, and this here so this could be made out of leather could be you know satin could be silks um, that would be really interesting this piece going up here in this section uh, maybe this section here that could be good on a hat that could actually be a bag couldn't it this bit here so I think it's so fascinating to be looking at other people's work uh, this is another one that I like because of the leaves which is then going with this one um, and you can pick the shapes you know I could put twigs in hats even the dress here the different patterns um, lines and shapes that we've got going on here and this is what you'd also do if you're designing a hat for a client you'd be looking at her dress seeing the cut and then designing your hat around it so i could use that I could flip that upside down this could be my shapes i could have this shooting out of a hat here i could have quills going up here uh, maybe i want to take this section here this could be a hat Actually, if the head was here this could be shooting up it could be a bag this could be another bag this could be a necklace so you can just take things and think laterally and go a bit weird so you want to get all of these different bits together and your inspirations and then start designing so this here I suppose is from a sort of the swampy look that we've got going on here I started sketching this one so this here could be green and you've got this is the moss and then this is the ivy creeping up you can see that this underneath here could be parasite or straw or cinema uh, we've got floating fabric in the back that would be cinema so that would be a whole shape which could be a leaf shape so a lot of my things are quite organic um, I think this was uh, going on for a winter look here uh, so this one here we've got Another shape. I'm loving organic shapes. I love flowers. I love leaves. I love twigs. I love anything from nature. I suppose I grew up on a farm years ago, so uh, all of this comes back to me now. I'm now living in the city now. I love the city, but I love the countryside as well. So this is uh, obviously from a twig, a tree. So you know that could be made out of metal, or it could be made out of wood and put on as well. Another shape down there. Um, this was starting off with a few sketches and then I ended up using a kaleidoscope to get those shapes and then got this here so this could be turned around this could be jewellery or this could be hats uh, anything really you, you prefer so I go from there sketch them out then work out which fabrics I'm going to use uh, maybe I use cinema I use parasite or straw you work out what you want to use um, and then you need to just test it out and start working but you 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 know, you're going to start making it and then it might change. Millinery, that's great because you start on something, you realise that it might not be working actually in 3D on the head, so you need to keep trying it on and putting it up. But then if it's not going to work, then you can change it and you can end up with something completely different, but really exciting, but still has your elements of your, you know, your... Uh, predictions that you've got in still got a few of those elements in but it could be different and that is okay that is acceptable so you want to start creating so you can have 10 pieces start making those they might change alter make your 10 and then narrow it down to the best ones um, and then have a look at those again make sure all your stitching is fine make sure they're manufactured properly make sure you're happy with those and then you could maybe make three in each color so if you had maybe you had five different designs then you could have one in green one in blue one in pink that's one star. The same with that star, same with that star. Maybe you just want four, and then you times that by three different colours, you know, and you end up with your eight, 12 <laughs> different um, pieces, and then that's your collection. This hat I've got in the back here, that's quite leaf and quite sculptured, so that, again, is uh, similar to maybe these shapes here, which are quite sculptural, which I like to do. So they're just quickly there. I hope that helps. Um, please leave comments below if you want to learn anything else, um, or if this has helped, or if it hasn't helped, or if you, what else you want to learn, what else you want to know, maybe about designing or business or anything else. Um, and above, I'll have the link to the Inspiring Creative Women website. Please join that. I'll have more blogs on there, and um, I look forward to speaking to you tomorrow. Have a good evening. Thanks, bye.